Hey, what is going on guys, gals, aliens, DJ and freaks, welcome to Dano Crypto. So on this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do a simple step-by-step -step process to go into 2024 feeling fresh, feeling like you have a good solid bag, feeling like you have a good head on your shoulders. But first I want you guys to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you are a new viewer and welcome if you are a new subscriber. And on this video, we are going to get into a process that I think is foolproof that will help you guys keep uh, centered and it's just a way to keep it simple and we don't have to do any bells, th thrills or anything crazy. We're just gonna keep it real simple guys. All right, so, so we are gonna go into this step plan and as you can see here with my terrible, terrible handwriting, I thought it would be real fun to, to use these. So I think the first step is to do your research. So doing your research in the crypto markets is basically going into all the different chains. You go into uh, uh, websites that have the coin aggregators going where you can see all the different projects and you can go into the different uh, most popular crypto news sites. Uh, and then in that, you can build a list of cryptocurrencies that you personally like, or if you're following the trends, you wanna follow what is uh, popular at the moment, whether it be with NFTs, whether it be with decentralized finance, you know, wh whatever it is, that is what you are gonna be doing your research on. So then you can um, actively start to put your finger on the dial with uh, all these different uh, narratives and ecosystems in cryptocurrency. So uh, how you can do that is by trying to find uh, coins and using these websites like CoinMarketCap. There's one, uh, there's Dex Tools. That's a really popular one for seeing uh, different on-chain metrics for coins that have launched and it also has a scoring system. It's really, it's really awesome. Uh, we'll, we'll pull that up, but just to, just to keep it simple, uh, go, you know, using crypto, uh, uh, coin market cap and using things like maybe coin paprika, that one's really cool. Um, and you go through, you can see the top, you know, what's in the top 10, what's in the top 100. You can see the different, uh, you know, say like, say Solana, you want to go in the Solana ecosystem. You want to see gaming. You want to see, you know, BRC 20s, you know, the Bitcoin ordinal, you know, narrative. You can go in here and start to do your research and then you can figure out what you are interested in and what you can potentially invest in. And so... Now we go into step tool is actually using the tools and learning how to analyze the charts. So then you can see where a coin has maybe broke out or it's been dumping or it's retracing or it hasn't seen any traction. You can see what the volume is. This is where you're going to go into that step two. You're going to use the tools. You're going to start learning how to use these different systems in crypto. And that's with actually using the different wallets. You're going to start using and downloading, you know, MetaMask, using these extensions, using different browsers, knowing which browsers work best with the wallets, um, knowing which wallets support different networks and tokens. So that's where you can go in and, you know, use, you know, things like, you know, use things like MetaMask, MetaMask. You got, you know, you got the Phantom Wallet, Got Phantom Wallet here, you know the Phantom. The Phantom Wallet is is a a nice competitor. If I can even spell Phantom, <laughs> Phantom Wallet, MetaMask Phantom Wallet. You got the Coinbase Wallet. You got uh, you got Trust Wallet. A lot of different wallets. Uniswap has a wallet. So you got to figure out what wallet best suits you. You know which one are you going to use for NFTs? Which one supports? Um, you know, the, the tokens that you like, you know, trust wallet definitely, uh, supports a lot of different networks. So that's something to keep in mind, you know, what is, or has the, the most use case for you. So learning what tools, and that's also using wallets. That's a big part of getting, you know, getting ready for 
this you know next crypto bull run say say you're new and this this video is you know i i think it's 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 for people that are you know just getting into crypto maybe they're or they just forget you know what you know what the step by step process of just kind of like being reminded you know especially this one right here you know we'll go into learning learning the charts uh just basic you know you can use things like trading view to go into the charts and you can go into different time frames and you can see and mark the charts where you've seen different prices being um you know hitting resistance hitting support and that's the whole thing about looking at the charts on different coins is finding where uh the coin has hit resistance hit support in relation to the strength of where it's been overbought uh and oversold and where the rsi is the relative strength of the coin so that's where you can use those kind of tools in say something like trading view and then when you go into uh you know coin market cap and you click on something like bitcoin you can look at the analyze the charts through there as well so that is a way you can use those tools to uh you know accomplish step two here so now going to step three is having a plan so what is your plan and also creating a strategy so what is your strategy and then once you have that and you know what your plan is then you can then you can execute it so my plan is to dca and then i have created a, stra a strategy that i've called the little old lady trader strategy little old lady trader strategy along with dollar cost averaging so what is that so for me my strategy is taking the opportunities to trade on the market like for instance when you know you see a matic breakout opportunity happening and also when you see a bitcoin opportunity happening and you can see that you can jump into some trades but then also what you want to do at the same time is build up your overall dca bag of the coins that you've been building up in your watch list you know your watch list is the, are the things that you've been keeping an eye on the things that you you know you either want to trade into you want a dollar cost average into things that you feel like are strong projects and so for me over over time being on coin market cap i built up a just a default watch list things like meme coins browser tokens gaming tokens um you know just straight up you know bitcoin narrative stuff completely different you know layer ones got avalanche in here gains network Polygon native tokens, Solana native tokens, Phantom, you know, all this stuff. And then what you can do is build different ones and just kind of narrow it down and keep it real simple. And so you got like Thorchain, Radium, Solana, Optimism, XYO, Dogecoin, Link, Near. So these are all things that I'm keeping on my personal watch list that I am wanting to uh, dollar cost average into just all through 2024 doesn't matter what the price is and you know you you do also want to keep in mind that you can by analyzing the charts and using tools to catch you know different price points if you want to buy on the dips then that would be a good dca strategy is trying to buy on the dips instead of uh, buying where you know the price is high and then uh, wh which would lower your um, overall um, your overall PL and your overall percentage gains over time. So what you can do is use uh, you know step two of setting alerts with trading view and coin market cap. you can create a profile on coin market cap set, uh, alerts on different price points where your coins are hitting uh, maybe retracements and then every time you get those alerts you can set um, 
You can set buy orders. You can set limit orders as well. It's really good. You know, instead of just going right into a market price, you can set limit orders on exchanges and then execute these orders at, at, at great price points. So, um, what that what that can do over time is really really increase your your DCA positions and what it can do is help you uh, get better at analyzing the movements of certain coins and the patterns because you can start seeing that certain coins will move in rhyme and create different and or create the same patterns over time on the charts, which can help you in uh, dictating how the environment is on a particular coin. So then you can go into it and uh, just really learn how that, how that coin moves across the charts. So yeah, executing is the number one thing is just being able to execute th this plan and stay focused and don't succumb to the worst thing sometimes and we all succumb to it and it is fomo so i think the big lesson that i that i learned from in 2023 is um succumbing to fomo and sometimes you know it's fun you know, you, you see the trends, you see something pumping, you see that some, you know, you're just like, man, it's a total fear missing out. And you, you know, you, you get the adrenaline, but, um, but yeah, uh, most of the time it's, it's going to wreck you. I think FOMO, uh, will wreck, it has probably wrecked more people than, than making money to be honest. So I would say maybe, uh, one of the, one of the step, step five would be to, overall not succumb to the FOMO. And yeah, that's it guys. I think that's just a just a real simple, simple step-by-step -step, uh, chicken scratch uh, way of analyzing the crypto markets, getting you ready. And I hope this served you in any kind of way. And I'll give you one last alpha website to check out that would help you in searching for some altcoins and searching for what people are actually buying on chain and it's morales money so if you use morales money you go in here you can sit explore coins and first you have to connect your wallet so you do have to connect your wallet and then you'll be able to get on chain like say for instance, Ethereum, and you wanna see what coins are having buy pressure, you could see them right here. So this is an example of step two, using the tools and then building up that research. And this is what you can use to make good educated decisions to purchase cryptocurrency. All right guys, thanks so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one, peace.